John 19. Then Pilate therefore took Yahushua and scourged him. And the soldiers platted a crown of thorns and put it on his head. And they put on him a purple robe and said, Hail, King of the Yehudim! And they smote him with their hands. Pilate therefore went forth again and said unto them, Behold, I bring him forth to you, that you may know that I find no fault in him. And came Yahushua forth, wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe. And Pilate said unto them, Behold the man. When the chief priests, therefore, and officers saw him, they cried out, saying, Crucify him! Crucify him! Pilate said unto them, Take ye him, and crucify him. For I find no fault in him. The Yehudim answered him, We have a Torah. And by our Torah he ought to die, because he made himself the son of Elohim. When Pilate therefore heard that saying, he was the more afraid. And went again to the judgment hall, and said unto Yahushua, Whence are you? But Yahushua gave him no answer. Then Pilate said unto him, Speak you not unto me? Know you not that I have power to crucify you, and have power to release you? Yahushua answered, You could have no power at all against me, except it were given you from above. Therefore, he that delivered me unto you as the greater sin. And from thenceforth Pilate sought to release him, but the Yehudim cried out, saying, If you let this man go, you are not Kaker's friend. Whosoever makes himself a king speaks out against Kaker. When Pilate therefore heard that saying, he brought Yahushua forth, and sat down in the judgment seat in the place that is called the pavement, but in the Ivrit, Gabatha. And it was the preparation of the Pesach, and about the sixth hour. And he said unto the Yehudim, Behold, your king. They cried out, Away with him! Away with him! Crucify him! Pilate said unto them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priest answered, We have no king but Kekar. Then delivered he them therefore unto them to be crucified. And they took Yahushua and led him away. And he, bearing his cross, went forth into a place called the place of a skull, which is in the Ivrit tongue, Golgoth, where they crucified him, and two other with him, on either side one, and Yahushua in the midst. And Pilate wrote a title and put it on the cross, and the writing was, Yahushua, the Netzeri, and King of the Yehudim. This title then read many of the Yehudim, for the place where Yahushua was crucified was nigh unto the city, and it was written in Ivri and Yavani and Latin. Then said the chief priest of the Yehudim to Pilate, Write not! And the king of the Yehudim, but he said, but that he said, I am the king of the Yehudim. Pilate answered, What I have written, I have written. 
Then the soldiers, when they had crucified Yehusha, took his garments and made four parts to every soldier apart, and also his coat. Now the coat was without seam, woven from the top throughout. They said, therefore, among themselves, let us not rend it, but cast lots for it, whose it shall be, that the scripture might be fulfilled, which says, They parted my raiment among them, and for my vesture did they cast lots. These things, therefore, the soldiers did. Now there stood by the cross of Yehusha his mother, and his mother's sister, Miriam, the woman of Akab, and Miriam of Migdal, when Yehusha therefore saw his mother and the Talmud standing by, whom he loved, he said unto his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then said he to the Talmud, Behold your mother. And from that hour that Talmud took her into his own home. After this, Yehusha, knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, said, I thirst. Now there was set a vessel full of vinegar, and they filled a sponge with vinegar, and put it upon hyssop, and put it to his mouth. When Yahushua therefore had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. And he bowed his head, and gave up his ruach. The Yehudim, therefore, because it was the preparation that the body should not remain upon the cross on the Sabbath, besought Pilate that their legs might be broken and that they might be taken away. Then came the soldiers and broke the legs of the first and of the other which was crucified with him. But when they came to Yehusha and saw he was dead already, they broke not his legs. But one of the soldiers with a spear pierced his side, and forthwith there came out blood and water. And he that saw it bore record, and his record is true, and he knows that he says true, that ye might believe. For these things were done that the scripture should be fulfilled. A bone of him shall not be broken. And again another scripture says, They shall look upon him as whom they pierced. And after this, Yosef of Ramah, being a Talmud of Yehusha, but secretly for fear of the Yehudim, besought Pilate that he might take away the body of Yehusha. And Pilate gave him leave. He came, therefore, and took the body of Yehusha. And there came also Nicodemus, which at the first came to Yehusha by night, and brought a mixture of myrrh and aloes and about a hundred pound weight. Then took they the body of Yehusha, and wound it in linen clothes with the spices, as the manner of the Yehudim is to bury. Now in the place where he was crucified there was a garden, and in the garden a new sepulcher, wherein never man was yet laid. There laid they Yehusha, therefore, because of the Yehudim's preparation day, for the sepulcher was nigh at hand.